Granuloma annulare is a benign asymptomatic skin condition with no known cause and it tends to affect children and young adults and is twice as common in females than males and it is a chronic condition that tends to resolve after a couple of years. The lesions affect the skin of the hands and feet most frequently and they are flesh or pink coloured annular nodules and plaques that may measure up to 5 centimetres across and may be present either as single lesions or groups of lesions with a central depression. Diagnosis is by the clinical history and appearance together with a biopsy. Although granuloma annulare is an idiopathic condition, it has been associated with diabetes, thyroid disease and hyperlipidemia. And there are reported triggers for granuloma annulare including insect bites, sun exposure, skin injury, HIV, hepatitis C, drugs such as allopurinol and it may also be triggered by cancer. Histologically, granuloma annulare is characterised by necrobiotic degeneration of collagen at the centre of the lesion and the necrobiotic collagen is surrounded by palisading granulomatous inflammatory cells with occasional giant cells. The overlying epidermis is normal. Subcutaneous granuloma annulare has histological features indistinguishable from a rheumatoid nodule. This is a low power view of a biopsy from a patient with granuloma annulare. The overlying epidermis is normal. On higher power you can see a ring of inflammatory cells surrounding an area of pink necrobiotic collagen that is so characteristic of granuloma annulare and the ring of inflammatory cells is composed of lymphocytes, histiocytes, occasional giant cells and fibroblasts and these cells in areas have a palisaded appearance.